Good morning viewers. In our previous video, we have seen the four types of chemical reactions. That we have seen combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. Now, the last fifth type is remaining that is called oxidation reduction reaction that you have already studied in your 9th standard in detail. So, let's recall it what is called oxidation reaction and what is called reduction reaction, right? So, let's see first of all start with the oxidation reaction. So, oxidation reaction could be defined by two ways. Either during the reaction there will be addition of oxygen or during the reaction there will be a removal of hydrogen. Then in both these cases it is considered as the oxidation reaction. Once again I am repeating it. If during the reaction oxygen is added or hydrogen is removed then that kind of reaction is called oxidation reaction. Okay. Let's see take uh, example. Here you can see the copper going to react with oxygen. It means oxygen is added to the copper and it will give us product copper oxide. So here there is an addition of oxygen that's why this reaction is called oxidation reaction. Right? Okay. Let's wait. Uh, same way let's we define the reduction reaction. So as per oxidation reaction, reduction reaction is also defined by two ways. Either there is an addition of hydrogen or there is a removal of oxygen then it is known as the reduction reaction. Once again I am repeating it, addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen that is called reduction reaction. Let us take one example of reduction reaction. So here you can see uh, fluorine with fluorine hydrogen is going to be added right. Two molecular of fluorine sorry molecule of fluorine we going to react with molecule of hydrogen so it will, uh, it will going to produce the hydrogen fluoride so here you can see there is an addition of hydrogen to the fluorine that's why this reaction is called the reduction reaction right so uh, have you cleared the difference between the oxidation and reduction reaction but if you are getting the redox reaction redox reaction means in a particular reaction there would be taking place oxidation as well as reduction then how you can identify it let's we take some example of it uh, this is called the redox reaction red means reduction and ox means oxidation it means in a same in a, a single reaction reduction as well as oxidation both will going to be takes place then it is called the redox reaction okay so let's see the example of it copper oxide going to react with hydrogen it will gives us copper plus water so in this reaction both reduction and oxidation is going to be takes place so which one is called the oxidation reaction and which one is called the reduction reaction so as per the definition here you can see with copper oxygen is there but in product oxygen has been removed right so as per the definition of reduction reaction if there is a removal of oxygen here the oxygen has been removed in the product so the removal of oxygen is called the reduction reaction right so copper oxide is converted into copper is considered as the reduction reaction right okay now here you can see the reactant hydrogen is there and in product oxygen is added to the reactant right so that's why right. as per the definition of oxidation reaction addition of oxygen here hydrogen uh, with hydrogen oxygen is added in the product that's why it's called oxidation reaction so as per definition you can identify in the redox reaction that which one is the reduction and which one is the oxidation okay now have you ever seen the oxidation reaction in your daily life no then let's you take the example uh, first of all corrosion you might have heard this word corrosion so we all know corrosion means what rusting of iron right rusting of iron yeah, the, uh, yeah rusting of any other metals right so that what we call the corrosion so basically in rusting what is happening let's you take the example of rusting of iron so as you all know iron when it ex exposed in contact with moisture and oxygen right then it will start rusting it means iron has been converted into it oxides right so iron has been converted into it oxides means oxygen will going to be added to the iron and that's why it's called the 
oxidation type of reaction. So we can conclude that the corrosion is the oxidation type of reaction because iron has been converted into its iron oxides. Same way, another phenomenon taking place in our uh, daily life that is rancidity. Now what is the meaning of rancidity? See, when the fat and oil containing the substances exposed uh, in presence of air uh, for a longer time, then what happen? The fat and oils converted to its oxides which generate the foul and bad smelling. Uh, that what called the rancidity. Oil and fats containing compound will get, in rust, uh, will get in rancid when it is exposed for a long time in contact with oxygen, right? So that we call the uh, rancidity, which is also the example of the oxidation reaction. So here, the fifth type of the chemical reaction has been over and finally our chapter is also going to be over. See, during the chapter, how many reactions we have seen? So go through that reactions, identify that which kind of that reactions is and whether it is balanced or not. If it is not balanced, try to balance it, right? Okay, so finally chapter 1 has going to be over. We will meet in our next video with the chapter 2. Till that, stay safe, stay at your home, uh, stay at your home and thank you viewers.